Good evening, everyone, and to those tuning in online, good afternoon and good morning. My name is Annie Lai, and it is my pleasure to give you a glimpse into my dissertation on the design history of the Hong Kong Electrical Tramway. So having been brought up in Hong Kong for almost three decades now, I know, I'm very old, but my research aimed to unravel a personal fascination with studying the built environment of my home city under the British colonial rule. And through studying the Hong Kong tramway as a design element within the evolving social economic history of Hong Kong, I sought to understand the transformations of this urban landscape, especially given that it was once deemed by the British Foreign Secretary, Lord Palmerston, to be a barren island, which will never be a market of trade. Introduced to the colonial city in 1904 and established as a company in London in 1902, the Hong Kong Tramway was the first electric powered public transportation system in Hong Kong. Introduced during a time in which the traffic was confined almost entirely to rickshaws and sedan chairs. And for my research, design here is not only investigated as an effort by the British colonial government to one, exert power and gender order and enforce segregation. Design was also closely examined under the context of the design decisions of the depot and the Wan Chai district that it sits within, which intends to be gateways into investigation, investigating the colonial intentions of commercialization modernization and globalization for Hong Kong's urban development. The tramway is an, art of, is an arterial lifeline to the city's urban layout, stretching from the west side to the eastern districts. The depot and its evolving tramway system is an exemplary case, in my opinion, through which I question, why did the colonial British government decide that Hong Kong required an electric tramway system in the early 20th, early 20th century? To what extent did colonial British pol politics play in the development of Hong Kong Island into an entrepot? What colonial agendas can be revealed through the establishment of this electric tramway company and its system? And finally, how did the tramway depot simultaneously influence and adapt to the social, economic, and political changes of Hong Kong throughout these eight decades? And after dedicating six months to this topic, I feel like I've just scratched the surface. So if any of you have questions to ask or to share, please do. I'm eager to hear your thoughts. Thank you.